What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Check out our grass fields. They're one state behind the rest of the field, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Also, we're on the roof and we have superpowers. We can jump. We're so cool. Let's turn on the flashlight and see how much work we've gotten done on the car. We got our jacks out. The engine is back in, so I'm hoping things going to be good. We've got to do some interior work and I'm not sure this body is going to work very well. We may have to get a new body. Uh, I've got an idea of kind of the direction I want to go. But the car was great for the fam way back when. But I think we need a truck. I think there could be a way where we could like cut it somehow and put a bed on it. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of go with that whenever we can. We'll give an idea. A few things have changed since the last time you guys saw us. Let's pop in here. We are now on three-day seasons. Uh, Six-day was literally... I mean, it was a waste of money is what it was. Uh, speaking of a waste of money, uh, look, negative $25,000. How's about that? What do you know? We don't have any money. Another thing. Looky here. I filled it up with wood. Wow. Yes, no, that is... Not what I wanted to happen. Um, can we not do th this today? There we go. Uh, <laughs> well, I got a bunch of wood back here. I said I was going to fill up the Brantner Power Push with wood. Uh, I think this is five trees, four trees, something like that. It took me a minute to get all this cut. It's all cut by hand. As you can see, there's no rhyme or reason to the lengths. I did all of that. So we're going to take it down here. We'll see how much money we can get. I don't think we're going to get more than about 10 grand for it. But it's certainly going to help. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned in the past comments to do um, missions for, for other farmers and do jobs for other farmers. Guess what? I've been doing that. We would have been about a, uh, 35 to 40 grand in the hole right now if I had not been doing jobs. So I have been doing them. Do not worry they've been happening let's get pulled in here let's see how much we can get for the wood hopefully it takes it yeah it's taking it there we go all right looks like we got about 10 grand or so that's good very very good so let's go back up to the main farm i want to check and see what we need to do for the rest of the farm. I know that our grass fields are 100% fertilized, but I don't think the rest of them are. And because of that, I think we're gonna have to go through and spray. Now, of course, we're not gonna be doing solid fertilizer on crops, that would just kill the leaves. So we are, unfortunately, gonna have to go through and spray. <laughs> so let's get pulled in here I'm trying not to laugh as much as possible because I've still got a bit of a cold and it every time I laugh I start to cough and every time I cough I don't stop coughing so I don't want that to happen there we go let's grab that now the good thing is woo. That was a bad thing. The good thing is, we could take the sprayer and we could fill it up even though we don't have money. It will let us. Let's come around here. There we go. We'll leave it sitting filling up right now because we... Well, I can't believe I made that turn. We need to come over here to the shop and we need to put some narrows on here. Actually, I don't think it'll let us because we don't have any money. Will it? Uh, customize, wide tires, narrows, purchase for zero dollars. Oh, thank goodness we could buy for zero dollars. Woo! All right, so we got narrows on here. This is good. This is very, very good. Grab our sprayer, which should be just about full now. And grab it. There we go. Yeah, we got you, buddy. We got you. Let's head out and let's get us an easy feel. Mm, 
I think, I think we're going to head up to field 34. I think that's going to be the best thing. Let's make sure we get our beacons turned on. The beacons. Beacons owns. There we go. Tell you what, I'd love to have some of this grassland right now, but we can't. It's just not in the cards. Man. What I would do to have some of that grass. Oh, man. All right. Stop down here. Doesn't look like eBay's coming. We are good. Yes. Now, someone had mentioned that there was a... Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Someone had mentioned that there's a shortcut to get up to 34. But I can't, for the life of me, figure out what that shortcut is. Did you say like 40, 41? Is that what they said? I don't know. Let's, let's take a look up here when we get up between them. No, that wasn't it. Is this it? No, that just goes directly into 41. Uh, I don't see... I'll have to go back and relook at that comment. Because I'm not sure what what you were talking about and where it is that you were talking about. I'll have to go back and really look at that. Anyway, regardless, see you guys at 34. Next level. done yes there we go there's that field we only have one more field to do i don't know if we're gonna need any extra fertilizer for it or not i hope not then again i don't know i just don't know so we're gonna go back through here again oh, let's bring it all the way back in there we go check it out growth is good everything looks good and grass is growing one more state and we will be home free. We will be good to go. We can start selling hay bales. Yes, I'll be happy. I know we're not going to make a whole ton of money off of it, but gosh, I am just ecstatic for when we start. It is going to be fantastic. All right, let's hop in first person here. One more field to do. It's the big one, field 13. Oh, man. I just don't know if we're going to have enough in here to handle it or not we may well i'm definitely going to be hiring a worker i'll probably go one full pass around and then hire the worker to do everything else for us here we go should have the same growth as the rest and it does let's come down here to this corner this bottom edge corner it seems to be the best place to start what we'll do is we'll follow our way counterclockwise around all the way back to the top and then when we get to that long edge section down here we will set a worker and that should be good for us that should take care of everything that we need to do which is awesome good things are happening we're kind of running out of money but good things are happening so let's go ahead and hit this headland Ooh, let's back it up here. Tell you what, this is a tricky little booger to back up. It's just the length with this one tractor, because this tractor is a really good turning radius. There we go. 
and back the camera out so we can see what's going on very very good yeah I think we can get around this field at least once before we run out and then we'll hire the worker and worker by seed and fertilizer is turned on right now because we almost ran out in this field earlier when we were planting so nonetheless we will see you guys when we're done with this hopefully by tomorrow we're able to start mowing worker has just been hired and the worker is done oh yeah 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 farm sim what are you doing to me what are you doing to me lined up our worker there you go you can do it by yourself yes you can very good very good keep doing it quit screwing around all right now that we've got that done i think i want to come in here and we want to get this ready for mowing I was a little worried that this wasn't the tractor I wanted to use for mowing, but I have decided this is definitely the tractor I want to use for mowing, especially since we've got such a large kind of, well, it's big and beefy is what it is. So we can use this for mowing. We can use the small Massey for tedding. And then, let's see, can we pick it up? There we go. And then we can use the other one for wind rowing and then we can come back through with this one for bailing. I think that will work. Actually, let me look at the tether real quick. Garage, where's our tether? Here it is, 55 horsepower. And our mini tractor has how much? Ugh. 81, we are good to go. Tell you what, I wish I had a sprayer. I could spray this thing down. Maybe it'll rain. Uh, is, it, is it supposed to rain? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Let's, uh, I don't know what just happened there. Let's fold that back up. Is it supposed to rain anytime soon? No, it is not. Well, that, uh, that doesn't really stink, does it? It just kind of is what it is. There we go. There's that. Helper H completed their task. Have they? Nope. That's you. Still you, buddy. Let's get this out of here. Let's back it up. Let's get the tether put on here. I am expecting us to be able to start doing uh, doing mowing tomorrow in game. That'll be mid or midsummer rather. I hope. I'll tell you what. If if not, then we are. Ugh. I don't even know what to what to say or what to call it. Can we connect? We can, yes we can. It is on there. How funny does this look? Eh, it's actually not too bad. I think it's gonna work great. I hope it works great. You know what, one thing we can do here. Oh yeah! You guys ever know that the uh, this tractor does this? Look at the tires that go in and out. Oh, that's the coolest thing. Let's look at it from the side. It just like, I saw this on a uh, Mr. Silly P video one time. I was like, what? No way. That'll give us some extra wide traction. Isn't that cool? Oh, I think that's just awesome. There's just something about that that is mesmerizing. That wide stance tractor. There we go. So how is our worker getting along? Not too bad. Missing a couple spots here and there, but it's not awful. And that's good. So, we're going to finish up here. And what we're going to do is I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning! How is everybody doing? Yes, it is 6.11 a.m. We've got mowers. We have tedders. We have windrowers. Yes! We're going to hit one field at a time. First field is going to be the sheep field. We're gonna try and get that. The plan here is that we are going to be mowing and then tedding and then wind rowing. And then we'll come through and bail later. But for now, let's see, let's get up in here. I know we're gonna be killing some grass. Yeah, we are killing some grass, but this ain't the grass we want. We want this grass up here, the good grass. Oh yeah, you can kind of see where the texture changes a little bit. Let's go and unfold and lower. 
and unfold and lower. Let's go ahead and turn these on. Yeah, yeah. Time to get some mowing done. Yes, it is. Now, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I apologize. Still, like I said, still getting over this little cold. We've got what we're doing here. Like I said, mow, windrow, the, the Ted Bell, whatever. We are going to be taking hay bales and we're going to be selling them. Now, you probably ask yourself, DJ, why don't you make silage? Well, I can't pick it up if it's not a bale. I don't have anything that I can do that with. So, this is what we got. Well, you can't say, okay, well, why don't you make a, a silage bale? Say, I ain't got the money to buy a bale wrapper for square bales. I ain't got 52 grand. So, instead of making silage bales, this is the way we're going to have to do it. We are going to have to make hay bales and sell them. It's the only way to do it. Unfortunately, I wish it was different. I really, really do. But it's it's not. We can't. So we will be going around. We're going to do uh, two headlands. And then we're going to set this on a worker and kind of let them do their thing and pray that they can do a good job. <laughs> uh, pray for me. Um, <laughs> There I go again. Told you. Try to laugh. Every time I try to laugh, I start to cough. Every time I start to cough, it makes terrible content. It stinks. Uh, does anybody else get sick this time of year? Oh, man, it's awful. All right. I don't think, yeah, this down here is not grass that is uh, mowable. Well, I mean, you can mow it all, obviously. But there we go. Okay. Here we're starting our second headland. Very, very good. This is nice. We're going to do well. We're gonna get some grass. We got plenty of grass. We'll get all this taken care of. The only thing I'm worried about is the bell trailer that we have. It's awful. Oh, and by the way, it's late summer as well. Um, last I saw you guys was early summer, I believe. Yeah, nothing changed in midsummer. Not a darn thing. I don't know why. Just nothing changed. We did. We nothing happened. We got no good, no good business, no goodness at all. Oh yeah, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But hopefully with doing the seasons and everything the way we're doing it now, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get good, everything good. That's the plan. Wish me luck. Now that our other mower is doing it to it, oh yeah. We're going to go ahead and take this bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. Shout out to Clutch. Yo, yeah, baby. We're going to take this in. Get it done. Oh, yeah. Worker is hired. Tell you what. You may not like it. You may not want to see it. You may say to yourself, DJ, get out of here with that. But I love grass work. <laughs> I have ever since I was a little kid. DJ used to be little. That's right. That's right. I used to be little. All right, let's drop that down. Oh, yeah, baby. Turn on the things. Wow, this is going slow. Okay, now we're 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 moving. Now we're moving and grooving. We are moving. Yes, go 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 go. Okay. Hey, this is good. It's all right. We're rocking ten miles an hour. Dang, this cough needs to quit. Live stream later. Man. Send prayers to DJ. Prayers for DJ to get better. Oh, man. Also, thank you for everybody who's saying that it, they hope that I get better in the comment section of previous videos. You guys <coughs> rock. I'm going to get a cough drop. Come, come. Much better. Cough drop in the mouth. Keeping me from going eh -eh. too much. Oh, yeah, baby. Ah, bug's still in here. Dang it. We get this bug out of here. This is going good. Yes, yes, yes. I think we should be able to throw the tether on a worker eventually as well. But for right now, there ain't no way that's happening. I am finishing this headland. Oh yeah. Big thing is, as most of you guys know, grass deteriorates in seasons. I think everybody knows that, but if you don't, grass deteriorates in seasons. And that's a problem. 
because we don't want it to go away. We want to keep as much of this as possible, which is why I have hired a worker to mow and I am tedding almost immediately. We have got to do everything that we can to get this grass turned into hay so that it does not disappear. That's the great thing about hay. Hay does not disappear in seasons. Funny enough, now if it gets wet, it will start to deteriorate. But if it is not wet, if it is dried hay, or dry hay in bales or uh, open form like this, it will not deteriorate without rain. Fun fact, good things to know there. Good things to know. So we're gonna keep going around. We're gonna turn as much grass into hay as possible, as fast as we can, as fast as humanly possible. We're gonna try and get it done. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other field, mowing and tedding. One thing I have learned, uh, I learned this the hard way on Lone Oak multiple times per season, and I urge you to not make the same mistakes that I have made. Please, 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 do not hire a windrower and a tedder on the same field. You will hate yourself for that decision. That is a very, very, very costly and bad decision. What's gonna happen is you get these headlands done and you get everything taken care of and then here comes the tatter. All that hard work that you put in, gone. That wind row is now everywhere. It has been flung across the room. There it goes. Look to your left, look to the right. Where did it go? It's everywhere. <laughs> so again promise me you're not gonna do both at the same time on the same field now moving on oh 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 well we gonna have to stop hello senor hola what's up dude not much is that a chick or a dude it's a dude all right so you know we could probably go first person with this. First person doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty cool. Look at this. Like, goodness gracious, what is wrong with me? Everything. That's the answer. Everything is wrong with me. Moving on. Let's go. We are almost done mowing down here. Did it just say worker finish? No, they hadn't. Our worker. Here we go. I will tell you this, if you are planning on mowing a yard or mowing a field like this, I highly recommend use butterfly mowers. These Lailies are perfect. They're larger, a little bit larger than the Pottingers. They work great. It's probably going to say workers finished complete task, whatever. No, 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 it didn't. Oh, very interesting. Okay, cool. I'll take that. But the rear and the front work independently, which is great. Let's see if this actually works. Oh, there it goes. Uh, hire worker. There we go. And it will mow everything that it has to and won't miss a beat. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And the front will lift up when it's supposed to. And the rear will lift up when it's supposed to. Let's fold these guys up. Let's take them over to the cow pasture. Now, right now, of course, we don't have animals. Ooh, bouncing. Uh, so this is actually okay. Everything that we get from this first grass harvest is going straight to selling. We'll be selling everything. I don't know how much we're going to get per bale. Probably about 100 or 200 bucks. So it's not going to be like the greatest thing on earth. Actually, let's, let's take a look right now. Let's see what everything's going for. What is hay going for currently? Uh, great. Another area where we have no freaking clue. Awesome. Yes. That's my favorite thing in the world when I don't even know. <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs> unfold, lower, unfold, lower. And again here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go around and do our own headland. And two headlands, first, foremost get this done ourselves find where the field starts and ends about right there okay cool i am going to take over drivetrain here though 
I would be using a worker to be doing this part, or not worker, but cruise control to be doing this part, but it's a little bit too tight to be using cruise control through here. There we go. Now we can hit cruise control. Let it build up speed all the way up to 10 miles an hour. There we go. Actually, does it do 11 or 12? Or does it stay on 10? I'm not even sure, really, to be honest with you. Looks like a worker over there is doing a fine job. At least I think they are. Yep, yes they are. Good. See, all this is good. It is good, it is great. Yes, 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 yes. This says, uh, I don't believe that is ready to harvest yet. Let's jump out real quick. Let's close this. Close that up. There we go. Get that out of our way. Most amount of room we can get is possible. Good to do. Also, down in the comments section, uh, this is going to be the question of the day on this video. Yesterday I asked, what do you do to make money? A lot of people had great ideas, but I didn't see anything that I thought that would help us on this map in this specific Let's Play. So here's my question for you today. Where on this map do you see good potential for creating your own field other than the sheep field and the cow pasture? So where, if you could, where's an area where no one owns the land or whether it's your land and it's used for something else that you could plow up other than here? At one point, I was looking at the field beside 45, which is the bottom right-hand corner of the map, but I could not seem to get in there. This is a huge, I mean, a massive, massive area. And we could make thousands of dollars on that field. But unfortunately, I can't get in there. So maybe you guys know some tricks that I don't. The comment section is always extremely helpful. And once again, I'm turning to you. So let me know in the comments section what you know about this map that i don't because there's little pieces little bits here and there that i want to do and i can't because i don't know how help me people help me <laughs> all right let's finish up getting this field mode we are going to get to a point where we can hire a worker that field's looking good and as soon as we bring the tether from that field to this field we will put the wind rower over there. The wind rower again, we will have to do a headland and we will have to bail that if we want because that wind rower is just going to demolish any work we do, period. It stinks, but it is what it is. I understand that and we can move past it. I think that this is going to be our last pass right here. Uh, yeah, no, that's 100%. 100% fact. We just hired the worker on the other field, actually. So it's not been long since you guys saw us last. It should say workers completed their task, and it does. So let's grab this. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Yo, I tell you what, I love these big old wide tires on this thing. I think it makes it look awesome. And we can put a front loader on it. It's rear three point attach. What? Yo, this thing's tight. This tractor is awesome. And I think that this tractor is going to be extremely beneficial to us once we start doing cows. It is going to be so cool to have. Uh, the straw and everything that we get this year, I think the straw we're going to keep. Um, but we're going to wait until next year. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is where I started right here. Everything else we will be selling, uh, so we won't be getting cows at least until about um, this time next year. I believe summer one, see summer one or summer two, is when the grass flowers for the first time. So that is when we can expect to do cows, because that day immediately we can start getting all the stuff we need. We will begin with bales and go from there. So uh, we'll do silage bales, hay bales, 
straw bales, that kind of thing. We will start with bales, and we will go from there. Whatever happens after bales will happen after bales, I'm sure. Um, but we need to get the cows, because the cows will make us more money than we will spend. But it's just, it's just expensive to get to that point. It's not easy. It is not easy at all. It's going to be very difficult, very hard, but we can do it. Especially at negative 33 grand in the hole right now, we're losing between two and four grand, sometimes $5,000 a night. I mean, since the beginning of this video, and we've gone forward two days, plus seed, or not seed, plus fertilizer and uh, worker help. That's it. That's all we've spent money on. It's that expensive. You don't think about it when you've got, you know, a couple hundred grand sitting around, but when you got negative 33,000, man, it stinks. I'm not used to not having money. <laughs> this sucks, man. This sucks. Okay. So we're going to finish doing this, getting all this done. Again, same process as the field before. But now we've got a new step. Bailing. Or windrowing and bailing. I believe we're going to use the windrow on the other and we'll just throw the baler on the 8700 because there's not, I mean, by the time I'm ready for it, it's going to be done with this field completely and we will be ready. And that is awesome. Almost done mowing and we ain't going to mow again until like the end of the next season until late fall. If it appropriates itself for us to be able to do so. I hope it does. Regardless of the height of even of one growth state, I'm in here and I'm gonna be on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So you get that, get that, get that, bam, 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 bam. Got it good, fold it up. Got it good, turn it off, fold it up. Let's get out of here, go, 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 go. Can we beat it? Let's beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Beat it, beat it. Yes. Okay, we need to put the, oh gosh. Don't, don't ask. Don't, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> we need to put the baler on this guy. And we need to get it ready for baling. Baling, baling, hey. Yes. So guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. You know, already, please subscribe. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments section if you have any questions. Okay. Let me know down in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them for you. I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Oh, we got a live stream coming up in like an hour and a half. Peace.